What is faith and where does one find it? Faith is hard to define as it is different for everyone. There are many different ways of practicing faith and many different places of worship. Sometimes faith is not just how devoted we are to religious practices, but how devoted we are to one another. One can uncover faith anywhere, and sometimes you can come across it when you're least expecting it. In the small southern town of Hillsborough, faith is only one of many things that bring the people of the town together. On the five streets of downtown, there are more than five churches. The Presbyterian Church is one of two churches that sits on Tryon Street, with its beautifully decorated facade of the main entrance. Up the hill on St. Mary's Road rests St. Matthew's Church. It is currently undergoing renovations, but still holding services in the parish hall. Along the church grounds rests its cemetery, solemn and peaceful in the afternoon sun. And here in the heart of downtown is the historical Dickinson Chapel. Although the oldest church, it is held up nicely and is still in good use. These are just a few of the many places of worship one can find in Hillsborough. Faith fills the town on a Sunday morning as people gather together in prayer. Faith does not always have to be found in a place of worship, however. One can come across it in a southern homestyle cooking restaurant. Here is the Riverside Restaurant, home to many who are hungry for a good meal. Whether you're from Hillsboro or just visiting, Riverside is a great place to stop, to relax, and to chat with local owners, Dorothy and Leon Leah. Meet Dorothy. Dorothy opened Riverside four years ago and has been maintaining it ever since. She does it all, the cooking, the cleaning, and the serving from opening to close. Here she is in her kitchen, preparing a ham for the next day's menu. She uses her own recipes and will insist on you trying her delicious catfish. Dorothy sets up a food bar where she changes the menu daily for what she's prepared for that day. Here she fixes a plate for a customer. Some visitors come in quite regularly and she can predict what they would like to have. Of course, it wouldn't be a Southern restaurant without some delicious homemade iced tea. Dorothy is always smiling and conversation is part of the charm that draws many to grab a bite at Dorothy's. In the afternoons, Dorothy's husband, Leon, will come to lend a helping hand. He too gets to know the customers and he adds to the familiar feel of the restaurant's atmosphere. Here he is laughing along with a couple as they tell him a story. As the day winds down, he joins Dorothy in the kitchen to help clean the place up. Leon takes note of what groceries he will need to buy and is great company for Dorothy. The joint effort of both husband and wife gives Riverside its warm and welcoming atmosphere. Besides preparing the food for the restaurant, the couple takes pleasure in organizing the food for their church. At the First Community Missionary Baptist Church in Hillsborough, the congregation is taken good care of with all of the delicious food put together for special occasions. Here, Leon stands with Dorothy as she sets up food for the dinner shared with the entire church after a special service honoring Black History Month. This once a year service brings every member, plus any welcome visitors, together afterwards as they share a meal with one another. As Dorothy sets up, everyone else settles down in preparation of Reverend William Richardson's service. Here is Miss Chick the oldest member of the church with her great nieces and nephews before it begins. The service starts, and as the children get comfortable with their storybooks, don't let this fool you, because the energy soon begins to fill the room. People stand up to clap in praise of the Reverend's moving words. Reverend Richardson delivers one of his sermons to the audience. His voice fills the room as he discusses the meaning of faith, and with his moving words, his delivery becomes so powerful and so full of emotion that the audience cannot help but catch this emotion from him and rise in reaction to his words. This emotion can also be seen through the beautiful voices in the church choir, of which Dorothy is part. While the choir sings, the Reverend's wife, Ms. Richardson, plays the piano. There are moments when everyone is silent in prayer either resting in their own thoughts or listening to the words of the Reverend. Here Leon is doing just that, while Dorothy is up on the altar in the choir. 
Near the end of the service, every single member joins one another in the altar. As they join hands, they pray and share a powerful moment together. And then as the service comes to an end, everyone shakes hands and catches up with one another. It is faith that has brought them together this Sunday morning. And although they are getting ready to leave church, they are not leaving their faith. Faith is present in our everyday lives as it is present everywhere we go, in whatever we do, in the people we meet and the restaurants we stop at. It is in this relationship between grandmother and her grandchild and in the faces of the generations of our future.